Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, I've shown you how you can use your smartphone's fingerprint sensor and unlock your door lock system with Arduino and the Bluetooth module. Many of the viewers commented that they want to see this project with the ESP8266 board. So in this video, I will show you how you can do the same project with ESP8266 board. And this video will be a bit lengthy because in this video, I've explained you how to create an app which will control all this system. So I have gone in detail in the procedure of making the app. Also, I have left some timestamps in the description down below so you can visit the favorite part you want and skip the rest of the parts. And also one quick announcement for you guys. Do follow my Instagram handle that is viral underscore dodia underscore because we are soon crossing 1 lakh subscribers on this YouTube channel which is a very big achievement for all of us. So I am thinking to start some live sessions over there in which you can ask me about my YouTube career and how I started everything. You can ask me any of these things and also I am planning to announce giveaway over there. So quickly follow my Instagram handle and stay updated. So now let's quickly get started with this video. So this is the demonstration of our today's project. You can control your lights, your appliances and as well as you can also control your door lock with your fingerprint authentication. So I hope you like this project and let's begin. So this is the circuit diagram if you are using off the shelf components like relay module. And to make it more professional, I am designing my PCB. I have converted this into a PCB file and then I am extracting a Gerber file of this. I have downloaded it and I am visiting jlcpcb.com to order my PCBs. As you can see, JLC PCB is running some e-exhibition. You can participate there and win some exciting prizes. So now we will first quote our order. So click on quote now, sign in and quote now and add the Gerber file over here. After uploading, you can select the quantity and also your color of the PCB. I am selecting black and directly you can place the order. And here I have received the PCBs. These PCBs are the same which I used in almost every project of home automation. Now quickly grab all these components which are listed here. Assemble your components on the PCB board and grab a soldering iron and start soldering it. Solder first small size components and then go to big size components. So now this PCB is ready. So this is the program of our today's project. This program is completely same as we used in the web server app controlled home automation project. I have just added some few lines for our fingerprint security lock. So I will show you what all I added. In the bottom I have just changed over here. Uh, when we get a string relay for success which is a U in the URL form. When we get this data uh, it will change the relay for state to high for 3 seconds and again it will go to low state after 3 seconds. So this is only thing I have changed over here rest all the code is completely same and these are the pins on which our relays are connected that is d6 d0 d2 and d1 and over here we have to enter our wi-fi name i am entering it is hacked and over here we have to enter the password okay after this just select your node mcu board it will be in the bottom if you haven't added just add your node mcu boards so here we have got this node mcu board and then select the port after selecting just upload the code so now we are done with the uploading process now we'll go to serial monitor click over here and select the baud rate that is 115200 and just press the reset button on our node mcu board after resetting it will again connect to your wi-fi network and it will give you an ip address for this case i am getting 192.168.0.100 uh, before recording this i got 192.168.0.104 
it depends on what all devices are connected to your Wi-Fi network so this is the IP address which I got right now so now we will create the app for this I am visiting creator.codular.io this website before we used to create app on MIT app inventor but the MIT app inventor don't have fingerprint sensor module uh, means scanner so I am using this it has the fingerprint uh, rest all the creation will be same as we did in the MIT app inventor I will show you so first open this and log in with your gmail id so now i have created already this app so i will show you what all i have added over here so first i have added this label over here that is esp8266 fingerprint lock again one label home automation just to indicate our project name then i have added a image of my logo then i have added a image of my social handles then we have given a empty space just to give space between two of these elements then again i've added a label it indicates enter ip address over here now this thing is a text box you will go to user interface and while scrolling on the bottom you will find a text box just drag and drop it over here here you have to give input from your mobile screen so for default i have entered 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 as you can see over here so here I have set the default text to 0.0.0.0 and I have changed the text color over here then after that I have added a space again and then I have added three switches over here these are the toggle switch I have used so over here when the state is off it will show device 1 off and when you check it means when you click over here it will check this switch it will turn on the switch and it will change to device 1 on I have set over here all the text is set over here you can edit this according to your need you can set fan 1 on you can set fan on light on anything you want you can set it over here and next I have added one more space over here after this and then I have added a simple button which is on the top this is the button I have used over here and on the button I have added an image of a fingerprint so it will indicate to scan the finger by pressing it it will indicate to scan the finger and again I have added a label over here it will show just scan finger now beside this I have added two hidden elements on this screen it will not show but it is present the first we are using is a sensor we are using that is a fingerprint sensor of our smartphone so just drag and drop it over here so you will not see it on this screen but you will find it over here it is already added next thing we are using is a connectivity option in the previous project I have used a Bluetooth client because we are communicating it with HC05 Bluetooth module and Arduino but in this project we are using a web client so we'll just drag it and drop it over here so now this thing will communicate with our ESP8266 board so after this we will move to the programming part just click over here that is blocks so over here you can see first I have added when screen one dot error occurred when any error occurs on our screen it will show an empty message so it will not irritate you again and again so it will just show an empty message so it is completely hidden you cannot even see it next thing we have added is when button one dot click so when this button will be clicked this is button one that is a fingerprint button when this button will be clicked it will start our fingerprint scanner it will authenticate our finger over it so when the fingerprint one on authentication succeed it means that the fingerprint scanning is completed and it is scanned and the scanned finger matches our finger which is stored in the mobile means it is a success so when it matches the finger on the smartphone it will create a web URL and send it to our node MCU board so I've used two joins over here first the URL will start with HTTP colon double slash then the IP address we will be entering over here so over here we will be entering the IP address as you can see in the coding section we have got an IP address that was 192.168.0.100 previously I got 192.168.0.104 which I used in the demonstration of the project as you can see in the later part of the video so connecting to the IP address then slash then this relay for success will be added now this complete URL will be sent to our node MC board and 
the corresponding function in the node mcu board will be activated so for fingerprint we are just turning on the relay 4 for 3 seconds and we are turning it off into initial state that is low state again so this was all about the fingerprint now next we are moving towards the switch part these are the three switches which we used so we are moving towards it so first we are set initialize global switch one toggle value to zero it means uh, in initial state our switch is zero so we have set this value to zero it means switch is turned off so now we are checking if switch one is checked means it's if the switch one is turned on then we'll create a web url again the same process over here like this and now we are sending relay one on so this will turn on the relay on our node mcu board and again we are setting the global state to one it was previously zero now the relay is on it means we have changed to it one and also we are changing the color of the thumb to green the thumb color is this one a gray ball over here you can see this is the thumb color when it will turn out turn on it will change to green color so it will indicate that this button is on and similarly when you turn this switch off it will again create a url it will send it relay one off again it will change the switch state to zero over here and again it will change the thumb color to gray which is by default this one so similarly i have created three switches over here and this completes our application programming part so now you don't need to create this complete app you can just download my .ai file which is from the link in the description down below it will you will visit my website that is www.viralsciencecreativity.com you will find a download link there just download all the files and go to project and just import that file over here and your application will be straight away ready on your screen so if you are doing any editing or if you are doing any changes i recommend you to download a companion app that is codular.creator.companion app from the play store you can download it and connect to this to your companion app by scanning the qr code and this same mirror screen will be appeared on your mobile phone and you can test this while doing this programming so after this if your application is completely ready then you can just directly export the application you will get .apk file over here just download it and install it in your smartphone so this is the programming part of the application we have completed it so let's move further now we'll connect light to our pcbs be very careful while doing this because it requires high voltage current you can take any experts help for this I have connected two bulbs with this PCB. Now we'll connect our 12 volt lock. We are using 4th relay for our fingerprint lock. So for lock I'm using this 12 volt battery to power our lock. Now open the application which we made. Enter your IP address which we got on the serial monitor. After this just press any button and you will see the corresponding output.
So friends, I hope you like this video. Then hit the thumbs up button below, share this video with your friends, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.